All right, hi, my name is Cameron Lund. I'm going to do a quick video tutorial, and right now I'm going to attempt to go ahead and break down exactly how this was made and whatnot. I have a few layers over here and everything, but I'm going to give you some step by step things on how to make your own, and you can customize it and do exactly whatever you want to do with it so that it works for your particular project. RGB, mine's automatically set up to CMYK, so I have to change that. So. I'm gonna make this 900 by 900. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab the polygon tool. I don't know a shortcut for that, so I don't know if there is one. It's a six sides. Any size doesn't really matter because we're going to change the height via here making the width 800 and making the height 600. Then from there, let's we'll go ahead and give it a purple color. And I'm just already trying to start out my color so I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm starting with. So, um, not looking much like a jewel, but we're gonna change that by going ahead and doing an effect called the 3D Extrude and Bevel, which you go up to the effect menu, down to 3D, then Extrude and Bevel. Now, for the X, I believe it was 78, 0, 0 for the rotation and perspective, 0. Then the extrude depth, I believe I set that to what, 600, was it? Let's go ahead and preview that. Now, I'll put a bevel on there classic bevel and make that 100 and as you can see already kind of getting that uh, some type of jewel shape there not the one I'm particularly looking for so but this is what it's going to generate for me now more options I'm going to add another light source I'm actually moving this one up to the top right of that little circle there. Uh, and then I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to move it to the bottom left of this circle here. So to the bottom and to the left. Uh -huh. uh, it should be plastic shading, which is default. All these other things are default. You know, 150, 60, 90, and 25 for the blend steps. You know, color shading black, whatever. You know, that all works out with its default settings you know so go ahead and press OK now we've got our main piece here and usually I, I like to play it safe I never really uh, don't want to and you don't want to go too far without saving so let me just go ahead and save this as emerald I'm press save that doesn't really matter Alright, so I've saved it, and now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm actually going to press C, Control F, posts it right in front, then if you're at the layers panel, by the way, if you're not seeing everything that I'm seeing, uh, or you don't have the layouts, me workspace, I believe I'm using essentials, so if you go up to the window, workspace, go down essentials, that's usually what I use most of the time. Uh, now if you went to the control C control F puts it right in front there's a little box here on the first layer you can just drag that up and now we have that box on both one layer one and layer two I'm gonna go ahead and lock the first layer and I'm also going to remove the eyeball because I'm not gonna be using it for a while I usually keep my steps separated just so I can go back in case I made any mistakes or whatever because this one once we do what we're going to do is no real going back so I go ahead and select the one on layer 2 I'm going to go back to extrude and bevel because I think I might have forgot something oh, there we go under where there's more options the last little checkbox there is draw hidden faces and what that's going to do is it's actually going to draw the background here it's going to draw the background as you can see 
whether it's, it's visible or not, it's still going to be drawn. And that's what we want because those jewels are kind of translucent. So we're going to want to see the back of the jewel. Press OK. Now we're going to go Object, Expand Appearance. Hmm, and it gave us all these little wire frames here. And we're going to, uh, all these little shapes here, we're going to Object, Ungroup them. And I think you actually got to do this twice because it groups them quite a bit. So now it's completely ungrouped after you've ungrouped them twice, which is also Shift Control G if that's how you want to do it. Now I'm going to take my selection tool and select this bottom half here. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to drag that up. Right in. I'm also going to select these two. I'm going to drag those two up to that layer too. And then I'm going to move that new layer down to the bottom and it's already hidden. I'll just lock it just in case. So I'm not going to be using that. Moving the wireframe mode. There's actually another shape in there that uh, I'm going to be needing to move in there. Actually, I didn't see it. So let me just go ahead and move that down. So there, that little extra piece in there, you're probably going to have to go into wireframe mode just to see. But it's right in there. So, so far, we've got um, something that still doesn't look much like a jewel, but I'm still working on it. I'm actually going to bring up my rulers. And then I'm going to kind of go to the center of this thing right here. And... You know, I kind of just eyeballed it, so I don't think it's too important whether you get it just right or whatnot. But then I'm going to go ahead and select these different points. And I'm going to go ahead and line them up right there. we're already starting to come with some type of 3D-esque jewel. All these should line up perfectly and if they don't control Alt J it's going to average out those points there. Click both. That should be the default but go ahead and click both if it's not. And now all those points line up at exactly the same spot. Quick wireframe mode to show you what you're working with. Control Y. And uh, we kind of have some type of jewel going on here, but this shading, you know, from the extrude 3D bevel, whatever, the shading that it gave you, it's, it's not too good. It's kind of got some light source here, light here, but that's really just for reference. Well, on my part, it's really just for reference, I've noticed. Um, this is where the beef of the video kind of kicks in. I really want to go faster than this, but I'm going to stop this and break this into a part two. See you in the next video.